Tonight's movie presentation is brought to you by Band-Aid Plastic Strips. It is super sticky and it sticks better than any other bandage. Take this egg. It's just a boring egg. Here's brand X. Here's brand Y. Watch as we use brand Z. Ineffective. But now with a Band-Aid Plastic Strip, it sticks to the egg. This Christmas, give the gift of Band-Aid plastic strips. It will always stick to your eggs. And that's guaranteed. You can even boil them. I don't know why you would, but it's possible. Band-Aid plastic strips. Super stick. Sticking better than any other bandage. From Johnson & Johnson, the sponsor of tonight's presentation of The Three Wise Detectives. Now, a couple of years back, I owned this bungalow in Judea, and uh, there was this governor at the time. I didn't vote for him, but he had this dumb new tax policy I didn't like. Hi, everyone. I need the taxes raised, so that means you guys have to come down to City Hall and get counted. I want everybody down there by next week, or else. <laughs> Now, I ain't one for listening to strangers in alleyways, but for our dear friend Mary, eh, the news wasn't so bad that night. You want my watch? Oh, who could you be? Um, I'm here to tell you that you're pregnant and it's God's son. That's fancy, but like, do you want the watch still? <gasps> well, it sounds like I really have no choice. I'll have to do it. I already have a watch though, so... Now later in our investigation, we uncovered that this Herod guy, uh, he was a bit of a nutcase. He sent out a bunch of henchmen to try and find this Jesus guy and put him to death. Listen, I received word that there is a child being born named Jesus. This kid is supposed to be a ruler. I don't like that. Go out and kill him. In our interrogations, we spoke to this conductor guy. He says he saw this Mary and Joseph couple. Says they were trying to sneak away. From what? Well, I think you just learned what. Mary, we've been found out. We've been made. We need to get out of town, and we need to get out of town quick. <gasps> but where could we possibly go? Remember that Herod guy? Right. Well, one day he just comes traipsing into the office. <laughs> Tries to hire us. What this guy's in here for. Yeah, I ain't like the look of his coat. Suspicious. He looks kind of like a mob boss. It's me, Herod. I have a job for you. That depends on the job. Depends on the money. Depends what we gotta do. A baby's being born. His name's Jesus. I'll pay you anything. Well, as long as money is no object. Yeah, yeah sure. We'll take the job. As long as you pay us up front. And so we was uh, just walking around the city, talking to anyone we saw, anyone we thought was connected to the case, interrogating random so-and-sos. Uh, in specific, this one guy had just an abnormal amount of hats. I mean, we're talking a lot, a lot of hats. Guess it was fashion at the time. I got this friend in Montana, and he says he knows this group of cowboys who got approached by a drifter. Wow! Darn two. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Hi. I'm just drifting along here. I'm an angel. I wanted to tell you to go into the city because Jesus is going to be born and you should meet him. So why don't you get along there, you cow pokes, and find Jesus for me. Now, I like to think that we're good at our job, but uh, apparently around this time, uh, our employer, Mr. Herod, he sends out his own henchmen to finish the job for him. You're my most trusted henchman. I need you to get Jesus. I know you can do it. Okay, boss, so what is my command? 
We spoke to this bartender at the nightclub. For some reason, I didn't trust him. There was just something about him. Yeah, you see any kids around? Yeah, I saw them. They went out in the alley. Following a hunch, we followed this star backstage to get more information from a helpful source. Uh, hi, ma'am. I couldn't help but notice that you, uh, your name is on the poster. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind answering a few questions. Why, of course. I always have time for my fans. Sorry, ma'am. I ain't no fan. I am, however, looking to solve a case. A case of two young kids, and I know they're at this bar. I know it. I can just feel it. Yes, those kids. They ran out of here 15 minutes ago. I heard through the grapevine that Harrod has a hit on them. Now, disturbing the peace is a misdemeanor criminal offense, but that night, it was just about the best thing that could possibly happen. Well, we followed the words of those misdemeanor criminals, and lo and behold, we found this Mary and Joseph couple. Tell us what you have to tell us. Yeah, tell us now. Herod, you know, the mobster, has a hit on you. And you gotta skip town! And you gotta do it quick. Skip town? That's right, Mary. We gotta get out of here. And so it was, we got Mary and Joseph out of town and... Well, <laughs> we didn't really do what we was paid to do. I mean, we found them, but we didn't exactly tell Herod what we did. And granted, the, the henchman didn't finish his job either. And, well, because we sent Mary and Joseph away, we didn't even get paid either. So, at the end of the day, it really was just one of those weird, unsolved cases. I guess that's just how it was from my perspective.